I've been working with all kinds of, many kinds of energy project throughout the years and gradually realized how important it is to, to use, to use uh, our energy more efficient than we do today and specifically to, to uh, match production and consumption in a better way. And a very good way of doing that is charging electric vehicles with, uh, with solar power. But what is actually happening when you plug in the cord to an outlet? This is a, a, a figure showing hours versus uh, power. Well, when we plug in the car, the power will, the car will demand full power right away, and then it will slowly decrease during the day. When the sun comes up, you will have a peak power several hours later. And that's not a very good match. If you could, you know, increase the, the, the charging power slightly in the beginning, loading uh, the car for a, a longer time, you could reduce the peak power, well, in this case, with more than 30%, and increase the self-consumption to almost 100%, charging the same amount of, of, uh, of electricity. This is kind of obvious if you have your own solar cells and you have your own car in, in your building, but if it could be scaled up, you know, to, like a, to city scale or uh, many buildings. That's the reason why we created the solar bank. And it works like this. You measure uh, the data from the production. You transfer the data to the authority that ECU's guarantees of uh, origin. And at the same time, we communicate with the connected charging points. And by doing this, we can control the charging power superior and we can guarantee that a certain charging point gets electricity from a certain production plant at a certain time. And if then we connect it in a network, talking and communicating with, with all charging operators using the standard protocols that we have today, we can you know, have a really strong impact. Uh, we've been... Uh, testing this and verifying it in, in Sweden and in Norway. Uh, this is in Uppsala, where we uh, have almost 200 uh, charging points connected to the network. Uh, and also, we also have charging points in Tromsø up in Norway. We label the charging points uh, uh, with, a, with a QR code, of course, so we can link to the specific producer. This is an example uh, for, of a project we are running today called Solar Charge 2020. We gained numerous of, numerous of nominations and awards for this. Uh, we are right now having uh, funding for SME project phase one, and we're working on to apply for SME uh, project phase two in January. But we are too small. We need you to join us to plug in for more solar power. So please come to our booth D24, and we can talk about it. You're welcome. Thank you.